it. Take out of grace, thy steps retrace. Oh, wandering one, oh, wandering one. <laughs> Stop, ladies, pray. <laughs> I had intended not to intrude myself upon your notice in this effective but alarming costume. But under these peculiar circumstances, it is my bounden duty to inform you that your proceedings will not be unwitnessed. But who are you, Sir Speed? I am a pirate. A pirate? Hurrah! Ladies, do not shun me. This evening I renounce my vile profession And to that end all pure and peerless maidens All blushing buds of ever-blooming beauty I saw at heart, I saw at heart Implore your kind assistance Shame, for shame. 
it. Take out of grace, thy steps retrace. Wandering on, oh, wandering on, is such poor love as mine. Can help find, draw peace of mind. Do I take it? It is thine. going on here? Table with a boy? A uh, man. Uh, no, a uh, boy. Um, I was, I was preferring rather to your physical appearance. <laughs> Compared with other women, are you beautiful? I have been told so, Master. <laughs> but lately? Oh no, years and years ago. Well, what do you think of yourself? Um, it's a delicate question to answer, but I think I'm a fine woman. That is your candid opinion? Oh yes, I should be deceiving you if I told you otherwise. Thank you, Ruth. I believe you, for I'm sure that you would not practice upon my inexperience. I wish to do the right thing, and if I say if you truly are a fine woman, then it should be no obstacle to our union. <laughs> No. <laughs> Hark! Surely I hear voices. Confusion! It is the voices of young maidens. Oh. If I should say them, I am lost! By all that's marvellous, a bevy of beautiful maidens. Oh, lost. Oh, how lovely, how surpassingly <laughs> lovely is the plainest of them. Lost. What grace, lost. what delicacy, <laughs> what refinement. And Ruth, Ruth told me she was beautiful. Well, let's go to check them out. I hate you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now we need his good luck to Frederick's treasures, Frederick's out of his intentions. Four and twenty, now he's rising, and alone he's fit to fly. Keen on signalizing with unusual rage. His good luck to Frederick's friend, to Frederick's out of his intentions. Pour a wall of pirate cherry, fill a field of pirate glass. And to make us more than merry, let the pirate bumper pass. Hey! 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 Yes, Frederick, today you now rank as a full blown member of our pirate band. Hey! I thank you from my heart for your kindly wishes. What that I could repay them as they so deserve. Oh, what, what do you mean? Today I am out of my indentures, and today I leave you forever. <gasps> but this is quite unaccountable. A keener hand at scuttling a canada or cutting out a piano never shipped a handspike. True, I have done my best for you. And why? Because it was my duty under my indentures. And I am the slave of duty. As a child, I was regularly apprenticed to your band. It was through an error. Uh, but no, no matter, the mistake was ours, not yours, and I was in honour bound by it. An error? What error? Oh, I, I, I may not tell you. It would reflect poorly upon my well-beloved Ruth. I... Nay, dear master, my mind has long been gnawed by the cankering tooth of mystery. <laughs> Let's have it out at once. <laughs> was a little lad he proved so brave and daring Don't touch me. his father thought he'd prentice him to some career seafaring i was a lass his nursery maid and so it fell to my lot to take and bind the promising boy apprentice to a pilot 
A life not bad for a hardy lad, though surely not a high lot. Though I'm a nurse, you might do worse than make your boy a pilot. I was a stupid nursery maid on breakers, always steering. And I did not catch the word right through being hard of hearing Mistaking my instructions which within my brain did gyrate I took and bound the promising boy apprentice to a pirate A sad mistake it was to make and doomed him to a vile lot I bound him to a pirate you instead to a pilot. I soon found out beyond all doubt the scope of this disaster. But I hadn't the face to return to my place and break it to my master. A nursery maid is not afraid of what you people call work. So I made up my mind to go as a kind of piratical maid of all work. <laughs> and that is how you find me now, a member of your shy lot, which you wouldn't have found had he been bound apprentice to a pilot. Oh, pardon, Frederick, pardon. Ugh. Right, sweet one, I've long since parted you. Those words were so much alike. They were. They still are. Uh, yet, yet years have rolled over their heads, and today my obligation ceases. Individually, I love you all with affection unspeakable, but collectively, I look upon you with a distaste that amounts to absolute detestation. Oh, oh pity me, my beloved friends, for such is my sense of duty that once out of my indentures, I shall feel myself bound heart and soul to the process of your extermination. Well, Frederick, if you conscientiously feel that it is your duty to destroy us, well then, we cannot blame you for acting upon that conviction. Always act in accordance with the dictates of your conscience, my boy, and charge the consequences. Besides, we can offer you but little temptation to remain with us. We don't seem to make piracy pay. I don't know why, but we don't. <laughs> I know why, but uh, I shouldn't say it wouldn't be right. Oh, why ever not, my boy? It's half past eleven, and you're one of us till the clock strikes twelve. That's right, and until then, you're bound to protect our interests. <sighs> Fine. It is my duty as a stronger one. You invariably get thrashed. Oh, and, uh, there is some truth in that. And Ruth, your own oh. Ruth. Whom you love so well, and who's won her middle-aged way into your boyish heart. What's to become of her? Oh, he will take you with him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruth, I feel some difficulty about you. I mean, it's true that I love you very dearly, but um, I've constantly been at sea since I was eight years old, and yours is the only woman's face I've seen in that time. But I, I think it's um, a sweet face. It is! So oh, it is! I, I, I say, I think it is. <laughs> that is my impression. But never having seen other women in that time, it, it, it's just possible that I may be mistaken. True. Oh, what a terrible thing it would be if I were to marry this innocent person and then to find out that she is, in fact, on the whole plane. Ruth is very well. Uh, very well in. Yeah. Yes, yes, there, there is the remains of a fine woman about her. <laughs> you really think so? Uh, but then I shall not be so selfish as to keep her from... Oh, no, this, this cannot be, Frederick, for we are rough men rough. who lead a rough life. Rough, rough. But we are not so utterly heartless as to deprive thee of thy love. I think I am right in saying that there is not one here who would rob thee of thy inestimable treasure for all the world holds dear. No. Not one. No, oh, I thought there wasn't. Keep thy love, Frederick. Keep thy love. You're very kind, I'm sure. Well, it's uh, top of the tide and we must be off. Uh, when your process of extermination begins, Frederick, please... Make our deaths as swift and as painless as you can conveniently make them. Oh, I will, by the love I have for you. What that you could render this extermination unnecessary by accompanying me and Ruth back to civilization? Oh, uh, no, Frederick, that cannot be. Although I don't think much of our profession, uh, contrasted with respectability, well, respectability, it is comparatively honest. No, Frederick, 
I shall live and die a pirate king! Hey! Hey! Under the brave black flag I fly to, to play a sanctimonious part With a pirate and a pirate heart Away to the cheating world go you Where pirates all our world to do But I'll be true to the song I sing And live and die a pirate king for I am a pirate king, oh, 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 pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king I am a pirate king, oh, 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 pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king It is hurrah for the pirate king, hurrah for the pirate king When I sally forth to seek my prey, I help myself in a royal way. I seek a few more ships, it's true, than a well-bred monarch ought to do. But many a king on his first-class throne, if he wants to call his crown his own, must manage somehow to get through. More dirty work than ever I do. For I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. I am a pirate king. You are a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is a rob the pirate king, a rob the pirate king. Is he to die and shriven on a kneel? When no one in his cause a weapon wields? What is he to do? Advantage you've contrived, <laughs> but your tyrant will not be long lived. Don't say your orphans, for we know that game. On your allegiance, we've a stronger claim. We charge you, yield. We charge you, yield. In Queen oh. Victoria's name. At once with humbled mean, because with all our faults we love our queen. Yes, with all their faults they love their queen. Yes, yes, with all their faults we love our queen. Away with them and place them at the bar. One moment, let me tell you who they are. They are no men. Of the common throng, they are all noble men who have no oh. oh. No Englishman unmoved that statement hears. 
Because with all our faults we love a house of peers. I pray you pardon me, ex-pirate P. These will be thieves and youth will have its fling. Resume your ranks and legislative duties and take my daughter, sisters, cousins and aunts, all of whom are beauties. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs>